Kristen, following that loss to the Panthers, you guys had talked about the response. Does that make this loss even more disappointing? Yeah, I think so. I think we started how we wanted to, and then we had a little slump uh, in the middle. I think it cost us a little bit. Uh, I thought we got back to it later in the game, but, um, I mean, in this league, <laughs> even you take a little bit of time off, and they're going to score a few goals. So, John Cooper talked about the speed of this team. Did you notice it out there? Yeah, I mean, we talked about it, that they're going to transition very well, and that's exactly what they did. You mentioned to me about puck management. Was that just need to be better in this game? Yeah, I thought, I mean, they transitioned very well, so it, it just proves that you need to be placing pucks behind them and making their D turn. And um, I thought we did better later in the game, but um, I thought there were spurts in the game where we needed to get back to that. You get your goal to make it 3-1. Did, did you like the response, or did you need a better response after getting back to within two? Yeah, I thought our team was responding really well later in the second. Um, I thought that we were doing what we wanted to do, and um, I thought later in the game even, you know, I thought throughout the third and stuff, we definitely were had our chances, and it's just capitalizing on those. So you got a lot of ice time in this game. Where's your game at, you know, here in a couple of weeks, last past couple of weeks? I feel like it's it's trending upward. I mean, I think this coaching staff has a lot of trust in me, and I think I've kind of built that, and I'm just going to keep trying to play my game and take advantage of the ice time that he's giving me. Back-to-back -back days with potential practices for your team, do you think that that's good, or are you looking to back, get back out there and play again? Yeah, I think obviously after these two losses, you're looking back to <laughs> getting back in the win column immediately, but I think we're going to take these two days and really bear down and focus and, and bring our next game. But there are relatively strong starts in this game and the last game, but you guys couldn't sustain it. Why? Uh, yeah, like I said, we had a good start, had a lot of good looks. Um, then they scored the first one. We deflated a little bit, and uh, yeah, we uh, tried and tried, but uh, you know, we second period we had 25 shot attempts, only eight hit the net, so um, that's a big issue, obviously. And give up four goals and four goals off the rush, so uh, yeah. Back to work tomorrow and uh, figure it out. But you say you guys deflated a little bit. That happened a lot early in the season, but it hadn't been there lately. Is there any reason why it's kind of crept back in here? Uh, I don't know. We, uh, we're not in a part of the season where that can happen, so uh, we just got to figure that out right away. And, you know, we've, uh, we've come a long way, and these last two games have been stepped backwards, so we just got to make sure that we stop the bleeding now and don't feel sorry for ourselves because it's too late in the season for that. So we just got to... Yeah, take the bull by the horn and get back to work tomorrow. You mentioned coming off of Saturday's game looking for the right response. Result aside, did you get the right response? I mean, we, we need points and we, we time of the season and like we had a push, but uh, it's a little, a little too late and you know, preventive of goals too. And it's just a uh, yeah, tough one to swallow, but uh, we got two days here with good practices to, to figure it out and get ready for wash. John Cooper mentioned negating their speed a little bit. Does that start with puck management? 100%. And uh, super fast team, and uh, they burn us a couple of times, obviously, today. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, you play a team like that, you've got to get pucks deep and, and let them go 200 feet. So, uh, you know, if you turn pucks over, they're going to go quickly the other way, and that was evident today. You know, wanting a good response tonight, I mean, what did you think about maybe the way that you guys responded tonight? Uh, well, I thought we responded well till for nine minutes and 15 seconds. And um, anyway, we spent the you know first 10 minutes of the period in their end and had a whole bunch of moments that you know r rose the uh, heart rate and uh, they didn't go in. And then as soon as they uh, got that first one, that we were just flat and uh, you know, maybe it's remnants from what happened the other night, but our, just everything changed after that, and we just couldn't. I mean, couldn't quite get it back. Um, you know, especially after they, you know, went up two. Uh, and that was the disappointing part of of the night is that you know there's a ton of game left, and and we were just flat. Or there was no emotion, and so that was a disappointing part. Uh, you know, for me after what I thought was a good response in the first 10 minutes. How tough is that to see, especially given you know, what you've talked about all along, is that you, know, you guys are in, in a need for your for Yeah, well, that's the disappointing because you can't get this back. I mean, there goes an opportunity to get points, and everybody around you won today. And 
and you didn't. And so you know, we can't be doing this win one, lose one, win two, lose two. That's, uh, it's not going to get it done for us. And so, um, you know, it was the, the fact that we'd been playing some pretty good hockey for, for some time. And then, um, you know, we're back to, we just gave them their opportunities. And, um, you know, if you're going to give the two-on-ones or you're going to turn the puck over and do those things that we did, you know, these good, fast teams are going to get you, and they got us tonight. So a lot of that was on us.